Hi, I'm Derek Finlayson from Beachcomber Hot Tubs, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your Beachcomber Hybrid 3 hot tub. Before your Beachcomber hot tub is delivered, make sure you read or download your Beachcomber pre-delivery guide. All you really need is a flat level place, an electrical line, a Beachcomber ground fault circuit interrupter, then just add water from a garden hose. Included with your Hybrid 3 hot tub package will be your hot tub, safe access step, energy saver management system, and your locking heat shield cover. Now we'll hook the energy saver management system to your hot tub. First thing to do is check the shipping label and make sure the serial number on the label matches the serial label on the tub. There are also instructions on how to unpack your Hybrid 3 equipment box and a handy checklist of things to do. But if you have any questions, just contact Beachcomber Customer Care. All you need is a sharp box cutter, a multi-bit screwdriver with a Phillips head and flat head, and it helps if it's a power screwdriver. We also recommend to have a second set of hands to help you move the equipment as it is quite heavy. Carefully cut away the wrapping on your hot tub using a box cutter, being careful not to come in contact with a hot tub. This is a great time to inspect for any shipping damage. Be sure to use the same care when cutting open your Beachcomber hot tub cover. Place the front side of the box four feet away from the Protec interface plate. Now to open the management system, cut around the bottom of the box, approximately one inch from the bottom, and lift the cardboard box off the safe access step. Unfold all four side flaps, collapse the cardboard box, and lay it on the ground behind the step. The cardboard piece will be used to help roll the step into position. Pull away your safe access step, and here's your energy saver management system. Your plumbing components, gaskets, O-rings, a hex key, and bolts are all in this one bag. First, using a number three Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws from the base. There are two screws, one in the front and one in the back. Then take the management system off the box bottom and move it closer to the hot tub. This is the front. Next step is hooking up your plumbing. There will be three different gaskets in the bag. A one and a half inch, a two inch, and a two and a half inch. Always start in the middle and work your way to the sides and always hook up the tub side first. Loosely attached fittings will make it easier to line up the system with the hot tub. Use the two inch gasket. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't belong. Valves at the top and all connections are hand tightened. Starting in the middle, first connect the heater. Use the two inch gasket. Next connection, the hush pump suction. Use the one and a half inch O-ring. Then connect the pump suction with a two and a half inch gasket. Next connection, the pump return it also uses a two inch gasket. Make sure the valve is on the bottom for this. If you have two pumps, you repeat the above. Once all the connections are on, you slowly move the management system to the tub. Move it close, then start hooking it up with the gaskets. Remembering, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't belong. If you have a ClearTech UVC unit, attach that first. Loosen the UVC mount, then attach. Then attach the heater and pumps, and hand tighten the connections as tight as possible. Open the knife valves, and install the clips. You always start from the middle out. Now we connect the hot tub wiring to the management system. 
Unscrew the two Phillips screws at the top of the cover. The plug-in schematic sheet is folded inside and there's also one on the back side of the cover. First wire connection is the top side control panel. It looks like an internet phone jack cable. Just plug it in. Your pumps are already pre-wired into the circuit board, so the only connections you need to make are the wires from the hot tub. Next connection is the light. The light is the only wire with a two-pin connection. There is only one spot to connect it to. Next, connect the stereo. The cable is painted blue, and the connection on the circuit board is also painted blue. It's very important to connect this properly. Now let's tidy up the wires. All your wires will go through the strain relief opening on the end of the panel. Just use a screwdriver to undo the strain relief clips. Put your wires through. On the back side of the panel, there are stickers saying which wire goes where. Screw the clip back on. Then using the zip ties, bundle the wires together inside the box. Then close your panel. The only thing left is having the electrician wire the house power through the Beachcomber ground fault circuit interrupter to the energy saver management system. There's instructions for the electrician here as well. We now attach the safe access step to the hot tub skirt. Just align the hole in the step brackets to the insert nut and tighten with the supplied Allen key. Now all you have to do is watch the Hybrid 3 Wet Start video on Beachcomber TV. And soon you'll be relaxing in the soothing, healing water of your very own Beachcomber hot tub. Yeah, hi, it's Jackson Davies back with Beachcomber TV. Derek, could you talk a little bit about the Wet Start? Right, that's the initial setup of your hot tub. Oh, great, but before you do that, Derek, I just want to tell you how helpful that pre-delivery guide was to my friend. Thanks, Jackson. It is helpful for both of us. It will make sure that it will be easy to get your hot tub to your backyard and help you with where the best place is to put your hot tub. So, uh, how did you do? Great. It's close as possible to his back door, within 10 feet on a flat level surface, cement blocks or pad. If you're going to install a hot tub on a deck, make sure the hot tub is there first before making any cuts. Oh, so what about the electrical power? First, you need the right size ground fault breaker. Then, make sure you have the hot tub connected by a certified electrician. Derek, uh, could you talk us through the wet start? On the wet start, first we're going to move out the safe access step. Some models have the ClearTech UV system, and we'll talk about that later. You'll find the number one massage pump, the number two massage pump, the hush pump, our energy saver management system. Now you want to make sure your knife valves are fully open. And to make sure they stay that way, we have clips we put on. You want to make sure all the unions are tight. Make sure the drain valve is closed. Bleed the air line.
Now we check to see if your water is at the right level, halfway up the skimmer. And, and this, this is the skimmer, right? Right there. Oh, it looks halfway up. And you're good to go.